access other messaging system so we are going to cover apache kafka active mq rabbit mq amazon sns amazon sqs google pub subs so in apache kafka we are going to cover what is the feature of apache kafka why the kafka is needed then active mq features and active mq why the needed rabbit, uh, rabbit mq feature amazon sns amazon sqs google pub subs and its future so let's talk about the kafka feature so kafka was originally designed as a messaging queue the software quickly grew up popular and event streaming platform and currently handle trillions event of each day whenever there is a requirement of message queuing or message broker system kafka is a good choice so message queuing system we can use for kafka and the feature much like messaging system queuing system apache kafka allow publishing and subscribing to stream of records record of stream are stored using the fault tolerance approach it's scalable and since it's allowing to decoupling of applications it's uh, easily available and it also offer high throughput to manage real time data transfer this is for kafka so if you need real time data so i will recommend to use the kafka the, now let's so the why the kafka the major advantage using kafka lies its ability to parallelize topic using partition with the possibility for each partition to host it over a different machine consumer can access topic in parallel you can also allow multiple consumer to access multiple partition making a sc a scaling uh, is easier this is a unique feature a significantly increase kafka throughput processing message queue kafka is excellent scaling capability allowed to handle large workload linkedin for example use kafka to manage 300 billions user events every day it's often preferred choice other messaging queue the real-time data pipeline overall uh, versatility platform that can support many use case including data streaming message broker system log aggregator etc now let's talk about the active mq and uh, active mq so apache active mq popular open source messaging service written in the java so this is written in java and uh, it was originally created in 2004 by logic blaze as an open source message broker and later donated to apache software foundation in 2007 like all other messaging broker it's a it serve as a communication platform between multiple applications so it's a, just a communication platform on separate server written in different language it's implement JS, jms java message service jms and support several messaging protocol including amqp mqtt okay so multiple connection protocol are supported schedule delayed uh, delivered which are not available with kafka so uh, delayed schedule data also can be transferred and database low level locking techniques file system and other modes are used for high availability along with simple authentications and jazz authentication active mq also offer api custom authentication plugin along with vertical scaling built-in functionality horizontal scaling called network broker also supported it offers support several transport protocol including storm rest api open wire so active mq is uh, similar to kafka but um, to be they use gms java message service and uh, they also can deliver uh, late data so now that let's talk about why we need so active mq is a popular messaging service use a distributed system so this is similar to kafka use distribution system unlike kafka which capable handling large amount of data active mq is a preferable use for a small amount of data are involved so when you have very small data then better to use active mq if you have large data sets use kafka with active mq message can be sent either as part of queue or a topic 
with point to point messaging or one or more consumer are connected the queue while the broker use the round robin approach to direct message to a specific consumer in subscription based messaging broker is broadcast message to all consumer who subscribe in topic compared to kafka other service active mq is a good choice for application where the complex message routing is involved so when you want to route some message to go this queue some go to this queue then this is best choice so now the similar to uh, active mq there is a one more queue system which is called rabbit mq so let's talk about what is rabbit mq and the features and then we talk about why we need it so rabbit mq is another widely used open source message broker employed by several company worldwide written in erlang so this is written in erlang it was originally designed advanced message queuing protocol amqp so which is called advanced messaging queuing protocol but has been updated to support other protocol in, including st omp and mqtt so you can go through what is this protocol several messaging techniques supported including pub subs point of point request reply messages you can also write your own and use its plugin it also support both synchronized and asynchronous mode of communication are available delivery acknowledge makes the reliable service so when the it's deliver it send the acknowledge message and it's a high availability to ensure the replicating queue across multiple mode of cluster making sure the messages are not lost even in case of hardware failure management ui allow user friendly control and monitoring over the messaging broker function now the next part is why we need it so it support complex routing uh, rabbit mq used by many companies including nasa it's often preferred to choice of application where message security is critical where you want to control messages and you want to integrate a message queuing system into your existing infrastructure rabbit mq is a good option so if you need very very high secure use the rabbit mq it's offer several built in plugin and also given to option to use the custom plugin so it support on plugins and also you can write your own plugin although service is affordable reliable user friendly it's not as scalable as a, so this is not much scalable so scalable means is the kafka is a better choice now let's talk about uh, similar to kafka amazon also have sns and sqs let's talk about uh, amazon uh, sns Amazon SNS is Amazon simple notification service so simple notification service it's push notification service offered by Amazon so it's a push means they will send it can send individually messages or broadcast messages to the large number of customer predominantly on their mobile device it can send a message to variety of platform including Kindle Fire Baidu messages can also be sent distributed system it use aws cloud automatically scale your workload and use application enable to handle the higher throughput so it's a kind of you know the message service it can send sns message customer over the 200 countries it support variety of mobile platform including apple android and email smtp protocol sender may choose the post message uh, across the multiple platform using the single code interface center can create a dead letter queue to create any failed message those they were not delivered so if it is failed they can deliver again Amazon sns allows message filtering subscribe only receive those messages that are the interest yeah so the amazon cloud watch it's allowed to view the system matrix and so it's a kind of the simple uh, so let's talk about more uh, why why aws uh, sns it's a low cost infrastructure primarily used for companies to send pub sub messages their uh, customer the web service makes easier for a publisher to create push notification from cloud and offer a flexible approach to the public messages and delivered from subscribe to another application it's uh, ideal for developer who are looking for message notification system that are integrated with minimal efforts and require minimal maintenance and it work on the pay as you pricing However, it's not designed for point-to-point -point request response messaging. If you have use case wider range of messaging type, conventionally message queue system are better option unless your application require conventional queuing system. Amazon SNS offer cheaper solutions to push uh, subscribing message customer. Scaling is also easier to Amazon SNS than Amazon MQ. So let's talk about the next part is Amazon SQS. 
So Amazon SQS is fully managed distributed messaging queuing service offered by Amazon since 24. It's a cost effective and simple technique to manage communication between com component software of software system running on the cloud. SQS queuing automatically scale and size on workload. No additional infrastructure is needed using Amazon SQS. They offered free tiers, limited number of messages queue. Uh, as your requirement grow, you will only pay the message you read and write. You can choose between the standard and first in first out queue. First in first out queue ensure exactly once delivery in order to this end. There are applications where these features can be critical values. Unpro unproceed message can be maintained and dead later in the queue. So Amazon SQS is a, a prime value for serverless in, uh, architecture where you want to different service function independently. It offer a lightweight and fast approach to establish communication between the decoupled service. It's uh, especially suitable for serverless application you, running in AWS. SQS is also run on AWS. Those the increasing network throughputs and reducing latency. Amazon SQS offer two API endpoints. One is sending message and other is a receiving message from the queue. Each endpoint can have many clients at a time. It's a good option to application where the multiple independent system need to integrate in the quarterly guarantees exactly once delivery and multiple connection at endpoint in queue. However, with the first in first output queue, SQS offer limited throughput and making un unfiltering option for the broadcast message. So the, now the next very important part of the Google Clouds. Uh, so Google Cloud they have for real time is uh, called Google PubSub. So Google Cloud PubSub is a asynchronous messaging service for sending and receiving messages between independent applications. It offers reliable messages, uh, storage and low latency real time message delivery, making a preferred choice for developer who, di who distribute event notification, stream data from different device process. It's implement asynchronous workload. It offer low latency and high throughput. Both push the pull the message delivery and the supported. Every message is stored in the multiple server to guarantee the at least one set delivery. It's a highly scalable. It support one ten thousand messages per second to all customer by default. More more messages can be sent upon request. Messages are encrypted when being delivered to the store maintenance data security. The first ten gigabyte data is free. So Google PubSub offers reliable messaging data streaming across the application hosted anywhere uh, on top of internet including GCP. Many advanced features are included to make communication easier and to manage auto scaling, dead later delivery and fi filtering make uh, application simpler. Many development prefer to flexible pricing. Google PubSub charge by volume transmit over the first free 10 gigabyte. If you're looking message broker rabbitmq might be better if you are looking for message broker rabbitmq is a better option in terms of speed but google PubSub is offer better security those who are already have applications running on google cloud platform google PubSub is offered a streamless integration existing so we have talked all those things if you see uh, about kafka rabbitmq activemq amazon and so from my Personal experience, I would go for with Kafka, then RabbitMQ, then M um, Google Pub Subs. So, based on your requirement, please use. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.